Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right. Yes, advanced students. Welcome to class 67. I've been expecting you. I've been expecting you to join me. I knew you were here. I knew you were listening. I've been expecting you. Were you expecting me to start right now? Yes? Were you expecting me? Were you expecting me to review this verb? Did you know that I was going to do it? Would you be surprised if I did something else? Or were you were you expecting this? Or was this a complete surprise? No, Kyle, we were expecting you to review the material from the last class. You weren't expecting me to do something else, were you? Were you expecting me to sing a song, or were you expecting me to um, review the last class? We were expecting you to review the last class. Of course, of course. What else would you? Eat? What else would we expect? It's what we were expecting. Do you expect me to start on time, or do you expect me to be late? Oh, we expect you to start on time. Yes. My boss expects me to get to work on time. Mm hmm. Yes, they expect me. Well, my, um, they, really, because I have many bosses, it seems. <laughs> they all expect me to get to work on time. They expect me to work hard. They expect me to be on the radio on time, and they expect me to go to, the cl to my classes on time, because I also teach classes in different locations in Madrid, yes. So we have this structure to expect. And expect is an assessment of probability, something we believe to happen. So I said uh, about two classes ago, espero que no esperes que te espere. I hope you don't expect me to wait for you. Mm -hmm. So we have here expect. So I am not expecting, I'm not expecting to finish this class soon because we're just getting started. We're only three minutes into the class. But I am expecting to move on and talk about a, an interesting structure, something that I was bound to do. I was bound to talk about this structure sooner or later. Tarde o temprano. Sooner or later, I was bound to mention this structure. I was bound to do it. It was bound to happen. This was bound to appear. To be bound to. He's bound to be late. Seguro que llega tarde. It's like saying, seguro que... We're sure. Cuando estamos seguros de que algo tenía que pasar. Right? We're sure that something is going to happen. Something... This has to happen. It was bound to happen. Right? I knew they were going to, to break up. It was bound to happen because you know, they, they, they seemed so different. Okay, to be bound to. Mm -hmm. They were bound to split up. Did you know that Paul and Beth split up? Yeah, well, I didn't know, but I, I figured they were bound to split up. It was bound to happen. To be bound to do something. So let me give you a, a little information, and I'd like you to give me an equivalent and applicable sentence with bound to. Do you think she'll know the answer? Yes, she's bound to know the answer. She's bound to know the answer. Yes. If I need to know something about history, Greek history, I could ask uh, Guy Williams because he's bound to know the answer. Yes. If I need to know um, something about rock music from the 70s, um, <laughs> I could, uh, I could, uh, well, there are a lot, actually, I have a lot of friends that I could ask, a lot of friends who are bound to know the answer, but Drew, Drew Crosby, who hosts Highways and Byways, he's bound to know the answer, yes. Do you think they'll come? Yes, they're bound to come. Did you know he was ill? Well, he was, he was bound to get ill because he he wears a t-shirt and he goes out in the rain all the time and all of his friends are sick so he was bound to get ill 
Do you know if he's ready? Well, he's bound to be ready by now. He's bound to be ready because he, he's always ready. He's always prepared. Do you know if she was late? She was bound to be late. Yes, yeah, she was bound to be late because her car broke down. It was inevitable. She was bound to be late. Does he know the reason? Well, he was bound to know the reason, or he is. He's bound to know the reason. He knows everything. He's bound to know the reason. Yes. So to be bound to do something. It was bound to happen. Tenía que pasar. It was bound to happen. Sooner or later, it was bound to happen. It's inevitable, you know. It was bound to happen. All right. Expression of the day. All right, it's time for our expression of the day. The expression today is to jump to a conclusion. To jump. Saltar. To jump to a conclusion. To jump to a conclusion. So we can say that we say this to jump to conclusion when we, we're sort of connecting the dots. We have a bit of information and then we often try to make a conclusion or we often make a conclusion or we think is a valid conclusion, but we don't have enough evidence. So maybe we're wrong because we simply jump to a conclusion, right? So if, uh, if I say, oh, there's going to be a new host on the radio, I can jump to the conclusion that he or she is an English speaker because all the hosts are English speakers. I can jump to that conclusion, but maybe not. Maybe it's a different type of show and it's not English at all. But that would be odd. Everyone here is a native English speaker on the radio because we offer these classes. Uh, but I can jump to a conclusion. So to quickly move to a conclusion without spending much time gathering information. Yeah. So sometimes when we hear news, we jump to conclusions prematurely. So it's not good to jump to conclusions. And we often say, listen, I know it looks bad. It looks like he was responsible. Let's say there was an accident, a car crash. And uh, maybe a per certain person involved in the crash has a history of drinking alcohol too much. We say, oh, he was, I'll bet he was drunk. And he crashed because he was drunk. Well, we can't jump to that conclusion because we haven't seen any proof yet. So don't jump to conclusions about things like that, okay? Don't jump to conclusions. So this is our expression of the day, to jump to a conclusion. Okay. All right, very good. Now, getting into class 67, we have by chance. Por casualidad, by chance. So, did you, did you by chance hear Alberto's show this morning? It was good. Did you hear it? By chance. We can also say, by any chance. So, by chance. And we also have, to happen to, which is essentially the same. I, did, you, did you happen to hear Alberto's show? Did you hear Alberto's show today, by any chance? By chance. By chance or by any chance. By chance, you were there when the bomb exploded. So you can say, I happened to be there when the bomb exploded, when the bomb went off, to go off, which is to explode like a bomb. Or an alarm clock also goes off. I happened to be awake when my alarm clock went off. I was already awake. By chance, I was already awake when my alarm clock went off. So I'll, I'll give you one structure and you give me the equivalent, okay? You want to know where the hospital is. You can say, you wouldn't happen to know where the hospital is, would you? You wouldn't happen to know where the hospital is, would you? Now, you wouldn't by chance... So if I say this, you wouldn't happen to know where the hospital is, would you? You can say, 
you wouldn't happen to know by chance, by chance, where the hospital is, would you? Okay, so you happen to know the answer. By chance, you know the answer. By chance, you ran into my brother on the street. The equivalent, you happened to run. Happened to infinitive. You happened to run into my brother on the street. Oh, Kyle, I just happened to run into your brother today. It's funny. It's funny you mentioned that because I happened to run into him earlier today. I happened to do that. I happened to run into him. I ran into him by chance earlier today. You happened to see the president. By chance, you saw the president. You happened to meet her. By chance, you met her. By chance. So to happen to, plus infinitive, or for something to happen, by chance. Por casualidad. By chance. By chance. All right. Very good. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it is time for our vocabulary of the day. The vocabulary of the day are five words of vocabulary. The first word today is marioneta. Marioneta. Which is in English... Puppet. Puppet. P puppet. Yes. Materias primas. Raw materials. Raw. Raw. Materias primas. Raw materials. We also say raw like, like crudo. Like raw vegetables. Raw vegetables. Raw materials. Refrescante. Refreshing. Ah, that's refreshing. A uh, cold, a cold Coca-Cola would be refreshing right now. Very refreshing. Refrescante. Refreshing. Habitación y pensión completa. Room and board. Room and board. Room and board. Yes, room and board. I'd like room and board, please. Okay. Tornillo. Tornillo is screw. Screw. A screw. And the verb, we say, we have the verb to screw, to screw in. The verb to screw, yes. Uh, tornillo. A screw. All right. Now it's time to take a look at our translation list. Translation. Yes, that's right. Time for translation list number 12. We only have a few minutes, so we'll get started right away, and we'll see how many we can get through. Number one. Eso va en contra de la política de la empresa. That goes against company policy. That goes against company policy. Number two. Me lesioné la espalda en el accidente. I injured my back in the accident. I injured my back in the accident. Number three. Quiero introducir progresivamente la nueva organización. I want to phase in. Ooh, nice phrasal verb, to phase in. Introducir en fases, or introducir progresivamente. To phase in. I want to phase in the new organization. I want to phase in the new organization. Number four. Entonces, ¿quieres discontinuar progresivamente la antigua? Entonces, then, then you want to phase out the old one. You want to phase in the new one and you want to phase out the old one. 
Number five. Los fines de semana para mí son sagrados. Weekends are sacred for me. Weekends are sacred for me. Number six. Tengo ganas de acostarme. Tengo ganas de acostarme. I feel like going to bed. Tener ganas de hacer algo. To feel like doing something. Feel like going to bed. To feel like plus gerund. I feel like going to bed. I do. I'm tired. <sighs> I feel like going to bed. Yes, I do. All right, that's six. We've done half the list. I'd like to stop there because we're running out of time. So we, we can finish there. And tomorrow, I will review the rest of the list. We'll, we'll review the whole list. And we can, we, can, uh, yeah, we can practice all 12. So make sure you study with your, with your student guide and also with the lists here. And review the lists on television as well. This list will be practiced today on TV on Aprende Inglés on the program. So be sure to watch the show and uh, and tune in again to the radio again tomorrow we'll review the full list we'll do a little review of today's grammar and we'll introduce tomorrow's class okay thanks for joining me and i'll see you soon bye bye